Alright, and welcome back to more Dark Souls 2 with me, Oni Black Mage. Last time we were uh, stopping here above this uh, raven's nest, I think, and we were about to give him a small, smooth, and silky stone like Greg requested. So let's go ahead and leave that and see what it transforms into. If I recall, I think these things usually aren't preset, but they might be in terms of what you choose to drop in there and what the item becomes. It'd be nice though if there was a little bit more randomness to it, such as, you know, percentage chances to get something rare or uncommon at least. But let's see what, uh, let's see what it transforms into. As we, uh, exit out of the, uh, inventory here. Yep, they seem to like it. Good choice. I wonder what that monster back there is looking at. Anyway, let's pick this up. And we get... Titanite Chunk. Okay, that's probably towards uh, upgrading a weapon, or probably at least weapon maintenance. I'm pretty sure weapons break over time here. Oh, pair of legs. Okay, it looks like a ledge we can drop down into. And there's a misty door over there. There's a ladder. Kick it down? Sure. In case we find more silky smooth stones, we can always come back and deliver it here. Alright, let's uh, drop down. I hope this fall doesn't hurt me. Eh, it did a little bit. That's not too bad though. It's it's a little bit difficult to see the the total the total distance in which when you drop down it's going to only give you a little bit of health, or when you drop down and it kills you. I'm not gonna choose to light this. I wonder if though if if I get something by lighting all the sconces in this area though. Hmm. I don't feel like wasting a torch to find out. Alright, let's see how we can drop down, and uh, yeah, okay, not too bad. Let's see if we don't hurt ourselves, eh, just a little bit, okay. Still, necessary sacrifice, there's always, I believe that's the way back to the campfire, so not too bad. Alright, can't go this way. Guess that leaves, okay, let's try this misty door over here. Door number two, let's see what's behind it. Uh, more tutorial stones, I think. Okay, that's good to know. I'm not wielding anything with my other hand, no shield, so I might as well hold my staff two-handed. Alright, good to know. Alright, guy. Bring it on. Let's see if we can save some spells here. Oh, that guy actually was a little bit tougher. He had a sword instead of a dagger. Alright, it's starting to kick up the enemies a little bit. I need to be careful because uh, if they get on me, I'm completely, basically unprotected. Dashing jump, alright. Practice over here before I make this plunge, because I'm pretty sure I don't feel like dying for misjumping just yet. Alright, seems okay, let's try it. Man, oh, a little close to the edge there. They don't let you correct mid-flight, which I suppose makes sense. Amber Herb, okay. Nice little reward there. Let's go ahead and uh, align ourselves properly. And take off. Okay. Oh, is that a ladder? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Let's see, I don't think there were any other paths here, so yeah, let's go up. Oh, look, we can fast climb now. That's actually pretty fun. Good, good. Any enemies up here? No? Okay, good. Plunging attack while falling. Okay. So we can do falling strikes. Nice. Well, see, I kind of wish we could parry with just a weapon. I mean, I have a staff. There's an enemy down there. Let's see if I can't just pelt him from up here. Should be able to target him, yep. And, oh, nope, I don't want to try a plunging attack. Let's, uh, let's just keep it safe. Oh, there's two enemies. Okay. Okay. Took him down in one, one shot. That must have been a critical hit. I am stepping a little on nothing right now. Oh, okay, falling. Oh, oh, wow, okay, ouch, ouch. I fell right into his attack range there. Stunned him, and alright, the good old 1 2. A 
I'm not sure what the uh, health comparisons are to, like, say, a warrior, but the fact that that guy just made two simple swipes at me and I'm already at half health, that's typical, uh, that's typical Dark Souls. I was sloppy, so, again, this is a tough but fair game. The only reason I got hit is because I let the game hit me. So, nobody to blame but myself. I have to note, though, that uh, every time I cast Soul Arrow, I take a step forward towards the enemy, so I need to be careful with that. Alright, so I can either go back here. I don't know if that's a new area or returns me back to the central hub. And here's a door. Let's try let's try this door. I like how he enters cautiously. There's no way to peek around though. It would be nice though. Something like an outlast. Well, it looks like a pretty empty room. Nobody hiding behind the door. Okay. Let's see if that comes in handy later. Nowhere to go but here. Somewhere new. No, it looks like it's. Uh, it looks like it's back to the central area. Yeah, because that's that's the ladder I just dropped down. All right. So we're going deeper into the cliffside. That's where I just started. There's another mist door. Let's go back over here. Okay, nothing much here except a sconce. See, now this one all the way out here really makes me believe that there might be something if I light all of them. Hmm. Maybe on another playthrough. Oh, I can't I can't leap over this, so not that. There's an enemy over there. I can't target him. So, alright, guess we have no choice. Can't jump over here, can't uh, can't hit it from here, so let's try another direction. Let's see. I guess I can fall down there. Leads over there. Oh, but it does lead back. Okay, so it does lead back around there. That must be where that mist door leads. Okay, let's uh, let's fall down there and continue on through door number three. Out of curiosity, before I enter that, let's see what's over here. Okay, let's uh, try door number three. Okay, immediately... Okay, so it's a ravine and then a guy over there. Let's just pelt him. He has no way of getting across. He had a bow and arrow, but obviously hit him with a sneak attack. Search your surroundings. Hey, what did I just say? Was that not a rule that I just said? And look, look at this. Interactive tree. Bam. Okay, bridge. Done. Okay, so we, before we cross that bridge, let's let's really check out that, that ravine over there. The rocks are a lot different over here. I don't know if this is going into a different area or not. For all I know, it could be walking into a boss chamber, and I don't want to go in there with only half health. Let's see if we can't just come a little closer. Alright, see, it, the area's already starting to change. I get the feeling that something different is in the distance, so let's... Let's let's just turn back for now. Let's finish exploring here first. If there's still more collectibles in the tutorial area, might as well just take everything we can. Let's see, cross our little bridge we just made. Nothing down there. Okay, another hole to drop down. And there's a guy. Okay, no problem. Might be able to get a critical hit on him. Yep, okay. Well, that was a waste of a shot, but better safe than sorry. I'm running really low on magic now. Let me try my dagger. Uh, I'd rather not rely on that, but uh, let's see how far we can get. All I know is I'm not going to engage that giant big guy before jumping down there, so... Yeah, to go back or to heal, to go back to heal. Mm. Tough call. Should I gamble? Mm. Yeah, let's gamble. Come on. Alright, what's down here? Ah, okay, immediate linear attack. Okay, Archer. Okay, Archer. No problem. I'm gonna use my last bit of magic. I am now 100% magic less. 
Let me go ahead and heal, because he took a few shots on me. Let's see how much the uh, single life gem heals. Stand down, let's maybe uh, watch it. Okay, so about 75% health is what those things regenerate. Pretty good. I'm going to need that health to ferry me back safely, because I don't want... I don't want to die this quickly. Nothing else up here. Alright, entering the mist door. Okay, there's another guy over there. We're gonna have to enter combat now. Let's go. Oh, ah, ow, ow, ow. Okay. Come on. Smack and roll. Good. Okay, we can do this. Smack and roll. And smack, and we're good. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty exhausted after that hit, too. I, I don't have a choice. I need to go back. Okay, let me see if I can round about here. Oh, it looks like another tree I can kick down. Alright, just in case. The dagger has pretty good reach, though, but it's no sword. I'm going to make the strategic decision and run all the way back to the bonfire and heal up. Even if I do die, though, it should be just like the previous Dark Souls games where I could just go back to the spot where I died and pick up any lost souls. I think, though, it deducts a penalty, though. Like, I think it only gives me back maybe 80% of the souls that I found. Alright, that should be good. Healed up. Alright. Magic refreshed. Now we're ready to go forward. This area really wasn't that big. But it was a tutorial area, though, so, I mean, it's just the basics. Okay, there's a big guy there. So, I should be good, because even if, even if I, because I don't look, uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, that's right, I, I forgot. Every time you go to a bonfire, enemies respawn. Or at least some enemies respawn. Not necessarily every enemy respawns, but most enemies do respawn. At least the, the smaller enemies do. Okay, so if I go, if I if I attack him, I can't. Okay, I can't target him from here. Can't target him from here. Just shame. Cause then, okay, this. Okay, good. I'm sh I'm gonna do what I did last time, which is try to bait him back towards the door and hit him back through there. He shouldn't be able to. He shouldn't be able to fit through there. Whoa! There's a second one. Oh, that's sneaky. I almost was a. Uh, almost focused on that one and missed the big one over there behind the rock. Okay, well, let me try to lure this guy out and chase me first. That's right, come and get it. Come and get it, big guy. Okay, good, yeah, see, they both would have gone after me, and I would have been stuck on that beach. That's right, over here. Yeah, can't get me, can you? Oh, wait, oh, I forgot there was an archer up Oh, I forgot, I forgot there were three guys down there. Oh, wow, mistake. Tactical error, tactical error. Okay, okay, I can do this, though. So. Yeah, dodge that. Okay. Take that. Okay, I take a small hit. No big deal. Smack. Okay, he's down. I'll take you. Really? He's not going to climb up here after me? Okay, fine. I'll take the shot here. Alright, I have 24 arrows. That should be enough for both of these guys, I think. Yeah, alright. It's going to be easy peasy now. Yeah, you don't know what to do, do you? This almost seems cheap, but remember, there are no cheap shots in Dark Souls. Because just how every hit you take that I just took is simply my mistake. It was my mistake, not the not bad game design, not bad controls. It was my mistake. There we go. Take that one out. Just like how every way, then you can turn around and say every victory you have is by your own accomplishment and not by virtue of, say, exploiting or glitching or anything like that. Because it's not like these guys are going to cut you any slack. I'm pretty sure if I took one swipe for those guys, I'd probably be dead in one hit. And they, they march, they trot along pretty much faster than I can back up and fire. Although I did carve them down to half health there. I only have five arrows. I This might be cutting it close. This might be cutting it close. I really would rather not have to engage these guys in melee. I... I don't think my staff has the reach to take it. Oh, I have no choice. Uh, one more hit. Okay. I have to time this. Alright, swipe, swipe. Let me get in swipe. 
I hit it. Oh my god! Oh, 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 and down I go. I didn't, I didn't know that he was going to fall down afterwards. And that, that alone, as you saw, took down half my health. And when I got up, he gave me the old one, too. It, it was my mistake. My mistake. I completely own that. Hey, first death down. I should throw up a death counter, actually. Just, just to keep, uh, just keep things interesting. Okay, back at the bonfire. Yep, I already saw a little holofication. Look at my zombie self already. I have to admit, with my choice of hairstyle and the zombification, I kind of look like Michael Jackson from Thriller. Alright, I don't want to use a human effigy yet. But I just want to verify that it does exactly what it did in the last game. It looks like it's unchanged. So I'm going to keep going until I encounter a boss. And as you probably notice up top, you notice how the, the, upper level, the upper level limit of my health bar is now slowly shrinking down. So I cannot restore health beyond that uh, beyond that small limitation there. That limitation will keep decreasing. I think I think till halfway, 50% of my health. Man, once I uh, do a human effigy, then I come back to being human, I can have full health bar again. Alright, so these guys respawn, no big deal. I'm not going to repeat the same tactical error. So I'm going to... Yep, there's my souls. Good. And I'm going to take care of these guys first. And I'm not going to obviously redo my magic. I just have to be a lot more careful. I'm going to see if I can save magic on this guy. Smack, smack, roll. Yep, okay. I'm going to save a couple spells. Because I was, I was off by one spell last time. And I'm not going to make that mistake. Zombie Black Mage. Let's go. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, he didn't respawn. Okay. I'll take that. I can totally do this then. This is easy. Come on, big guy. Let's go. That's right. Mosey on back here. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. That's right. Take your time. Take a long way around. I'm here for you. That's right. Oh, he's turning back. That's right. Come on. Come on. Don't forget me. Right here. Right here. Come on. Come on. Bam. That's right. And I need to watch out because uh, clearly if I was a melee guy, tip to melee guys, that guy falls down and he can fall down forward on top of you. Or when he's swiping, apparently fall back behind him, which is how that got killed. But anyway, I'm going to pause here. And I will catch you guys next. Thanks for watching so far, and keep following. Next time on Dark Souls 2. Bye.